Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom. The Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You keep getting on this particular person's mind and they will call you on Monday. I say it again. You keep getting on this particular person's mind and they will call you on Monday. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I, I've i been hearing this particular prophetic word. Like, I tried distracting myself to say, okay, let me look for another prophetic word and something that could be different. But, mm -mm, this still kept ringing and I said, okay, I'm just going to say this as per the leadership of the Spirit of God. Now, but there is a reason why this is about to come true for you there is a reason why this is about to happen now i want to say this every prophetic word is not for everybody so if it doesn't resonate with your spirit then it's not for you and prophetic word has been released and what happens is it's not going to manifest for everybody there is not everybody's going to receive that particular call. You might be listening to the prophetic word and you don't receive the call. It means it was not for you. Okay, so I was trying to believe God for specification because it was just like when I when I was like, okay, I want to release prophetic word and all that. And then this kept, kept pressing so strong. Like it kept pressing really, 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 really strong. And then I'm like, okay. I need a confirmation like I I need um I need a clarity about this because I cannot just say something that is vague like you've been on this person's mind and they're gonna call you on Monday. Now the first confirmation I got was the day that you're gonna receive that particular call and all of that. And then it kept pressing and then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna open my mouth to start talking and I know that once I start talking, the Holy Spirit is going to take control and God is going to do whatever he is planning to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god you've been family of course you know that i love you so much and my prayer for you is that the good lord blesses you rewards your consistency let the lord uplift you as never before and i believe that you will testify to the glory of god in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah praise the lord Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, there is somebody you've been with this particular person for a while now, and you had a misunderstanding. So this is um, a description of what I got, okay? You've been with this particular person for a while, and then you had a misunderstanding with this particular person. And everything went mute, everywhere went silent, like... It's just been silence, you know, and you know, most of the silence that I've come to realize sometimes is just pride. This person is waiting for this other person to call. This person is waiting for this other person to call. Now, have you ever been in that particular position whereby your phone rings and you're expecting that, oh, it should be this person? Yeah. It rings. The next minute you're like, ah, I wish it could be this person. You know, you're wishing that it can be this person calling and all that. You know, sometimes when you're wishing till marriage end, you know that this particular person values you and the person is not taking you for granted. Why don't you go ahead and give the call? I will not want you to give a call where you are in a position where you're struggling to move on, even though you're wishing that they can call you, right? Yes. There is that position. There is a position whereby you can be in a position whereby you're struggling to move on. But at the same time, you're like, ah, 
maybe this person would have just called but you really really want to move on if that is the stage i'm not going to permit okay but there are stages where you know that it was just a misunderstanding and you're just wishing that everything can be fixed everything can go back to the way it used to be you're the person i'm talking about you've been on this particular person's mind for a while now they've been thinking about what happened they've been thinking it through and they're gonna contact you on a monday like i said this word is not for everybody and the only reason i am giving this word right now is because it kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing in my spirit and that's why i decided to give the word there is about to be a new beginning in your life they are not calling to go back to the old them they are calling to make things right they are calling to fix things they are calling because they have they have they have had a quiet moment they've had a quiet time and they're beginning to realize that oh this wasn't the best action this wasn't the best character this wasn't the best of behavior and that is why they're trying to call you right now but in as much as sometimes some people understand their thoughts sometimes it's always very important to seek the face of god in every relationship you can be in a relationship and it keeps going back and forth is not good when you seek the face of god when somebody's coming back you who is coming back you want to do the right thing and even when they are coming back you want them to also do the right thing i want to pray right now in the name of jesus and by the blood of jesus that God's will will be done. I pray that God begins to lay in your heart clarity. You know, sometimes we want to move on, but sometimes the people keep coming back and we cannot move on. If this is a case where you have to move on, I pray that the Lord helps you to move on in the name of Jesus. If this is a case where God wants to fix things between the two of you, I pray let it be done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please do not forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. And please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you really waiting for? Please kindly subscribe. God bless you as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you so, so, so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. And by the special grace of God, I'll see you in our next prayer session and prophetic word. I love you so much. Shalom.